Two players set to the defensive near the Hellraiser's side. We've got Kalinka making his way outside the wide position. Julie set in from problem, dealt with by KNG immediately. Fur comes up with a kill. Kalinka still held back to the corner, finds one. Fur just barely gets caught off guard, but does not go down for it. Taco instead gets Kalinka to a four on two situation. Bomb plant will be received. JR and Flourish creeping in. Batline coming up from JR in particular, dealt with by the IGL. And Flourish is last man standing. Uh, great pistol round coming out from MIBR. The timing on that was just fantastic. Being able to isolate a lot of the defensive or the offensive kills on the site of the anchors. And Flourich just trying to see if he can pull this off, but it's now going to be a one on three. Not really possible. And MIBR look like they're going to be able to get away with their first round on the board. Flourich just trying to see if he can do a little bit more damage. Not going to be able to make the jump on top of the bomb train, but the player out towards oil of Taco is going to be able to swing. So first round on the board for MIBR. Tom no sense in trying to, uh, you know, look for any more, although the AK has been dropped in towards Seaside Territory. So, for TRK, Fall and KNG, mopping up the frags. Last play left towards CT Spawn. This will be a clean 3-0 start for MIBR. Hellraiser's up for a rifle buy. A little bit unfortunate there that they just could not extend far enough. Wins it out in hole. Good kill to find on the AK. Checking out Connector as well. AWP of four and hell to the back line. Two players in old hell. Good spray from Kalinka comes up with one trade, but it's quickly responded to. Lion peeking in. Spotted out by TRK for the second. So four on two post plant positions for MIBR. Well and truly favored to the T side. We play playing a little bit more passive, trying to see if he can catch off any of the CTs getting aggressive. Oh, Jail's going to make this round a little bit expensive, Jay. Might catch him off guard if KNG extends all the way back to Stopper. And the AWP to see him, but misses his shot. Turns on to Kalinka, gets that headshot pretty easy in for the MIBR camp. The three-on-three -three situation. Hellraisers have kept this at evens for the retake. Yeah, they've got a kit, Jay, but they need to get a bit of a move on here because really they haven't been able to get into the site itself for the retake. A player out towards ramp, and Flourish has been heard towards the back of uh, red. For... Killing off Liam next. The SMG in the back line down and out. And JR and Flourish quick to fall all the same. 5 and 0. Oh. Leading the rotation to pop dog. Kalinka gets KNG. Taco drops in immediately. Gets Flourish down. But Kalinka doubles up with the AWP. Bomb still back towards A2. They haven't accounted for this position. 20 seconds. The fur is all alone though. So the main defensive does get cleaned up. And it looks like a fast will finally go on the board of the CT side. Fur will try fight his way out of the corner, but he won't get far with it. CT cap. Players will come in from CT spawn instead. Flourish has no utility to try and bait in this AWPA. And with a bit of patience, Fallen will get his kill. But JR still here towards upper. First made his way in towards the A site, but the bomb plant is coming through. Taco does get the upper player eventually. Yeah, to secure the plant, he's got plenty of time for it. The backstab and fur will continue. Kalinka has no idea this is coming in. Oh! That was a dust for it, though. Two on two now, and Hellraisers are moving in close and quick. A fall and needs to try and back up his teammate of Taco. Stuck on towards his default position. That's a huge frag coming out from Kalinka. But he's now down into the one on two. Turns it into a one on one, and he can try and play the time, Jay, because that bomb's dropped in the open. 3k for Kalinka if he can win out this round. 25 seconds, you know the time is for him. Leaning up towards upper, Fallen's not checking the back line. The flank comes through slowly but surely, but perfectly for the triple kill. Two rounds on the board for Hellraisers. Hellraisers dealing with a little bit of aggression this time around. We haven't seen this coming out from Fur. Very quick to get into the Hell position. This is a very fast A set piece. Yeah, straight out of the gate, KNG, first frag, TRK spotting Flourish back at the Hell entrance. There's one place to e box. Oh. Liam <laughs> adjusted against Fallen to take him down. So in the end, not much is going to be allowed by this uh, lurk in the smoke. One on five for a problem. Fallen's watching the pop dog area as well. So nothing left for him in this round. The P250 should get mopped up. And we should be seeing eight to the board of MIBR. Fallen will just check the corners here now. Look around. Easy shot. Easy kill. M4's also ready to receive them as they make their way out towards the brown holes once again. Bomb is there with three individuals. Smoke comes down from problem. is going to land a little bit too late. We'll siphon off the rotations in the bat line, but they'll see what's going on. KNG does fall, though. Problem. 
Finding a kill to a four on four, and they make their way around towards the Marshmallow area. Fur being seen, Problem still wins out that fight. Fallen trades it, taps up. JR gets a headshot back towards him. And now a three on two, making it two on two. TRK still fragging out towards the oil train. Spoke to the gap, gets out JR next. And now all that remains is Kalinka with his own scout to get some headshots in against the two players that remain. Need that kill on Taka more than anything else, and it's just not going to get offered to him. So passively, TRK eventually swings, gets his triple in. How's he been allowed that? SMG coming up, T Eagle spotted to the bat line, doing some damage to Fur, but Fur doing more to Kalinka. And CT's wrap around, eventually Kalinka does get caught off guard. Bomb plant can be secured, and KNG adjusting against the SMG. Rifles are plenty, can get picked up. JR gonna get red upon. <laughs> KNG does get dinked in his exchange, though. Three versus three. Chance available, CZ bursts up, Taco goes down. And now Fur and KNG in serious, serious health disadvantages. Does get a headshot on problem though. The SMG not allowed to get another kill back. Flashbangs go over towards the site. Low HP of Lion peeks in, gets dealt with by KNG and Flourish is left alone. Continuing to go for the hunt. Fur gets that frag and MIVR do recover off a really unlucky start there. Not connecting, but it will ring out. Problem will try wrap around against Fallen here. Flourish meanwhile will start going down as the entryways towards the Ivy presence do overwhelm the A-side defensive problem. is still dropping in against Fallen. Takes that fight, wins it out. Swings up towards the top of Blue, seeing where Fur is. Getting that kill back once again. Two on two situation. Bonpon is going to be received here by the T-side. And TLK is incredibly low. Flashbang coming out for Pop Dog to try and clear out the bomb side. JR's now going to chime into the action, and it's all down to KNG. One on two position. Playing a bit of an off angle out towards Old Bomb, but JR's going to be able to win out the fight. And Hellraiser's... They're trying to take Pop Dog control, and the Lime is just playing anti flash. Flash in. Flash is there. Actually, playing two players. If Pop Dog Fur goes down, and well, this round's pretty much all finished now for MIBR. Looking to try and find a response, but they still haven't found a kill on this T side yet, Jay. Oh my god. Fall and will do in the end. <laughs> Straight through Pop, taking that scope shot through the smoke. And now four left standing for Hellraiser. But 30 seconds left. The bomb's been so siphoned off. TRK is so far away from Fallen. Now they're splitting towards the A site if they want to recover this. And the orb is now going to respond to by an 8k. There comes the kill. Alongside Kalinka, finishing off the job against TR. Setting up towards the brown halls. Tapped up with the USP. Seeing players coming out. Taking a dink back down. Now calling in for backup. Flashbangs go over. He makes his way down the ladder. He's going to hear those footsteps. Fallen. Sat back here with his teammates facing up. Three players making their way up. It's JR and Kalinka and Lion that clean up the kills. Still got Taka back here, dealt with by Flaridge quickly as the rest of the CT's four hell races will get an all important pistol round. To the T's initially just by basic utility set spray through from KNG does not stop them entering out of the B site. They still got Taka there with his own SMG upper upper. No one's watching his position. JR will get dealt with and a little clean house here with the SMGs in the M4. Fur getting Kalinka. All of death is Flaridge at the old. Uh, Marshmallow area, Taco, two kills to his name. And they're up against double orbs too. Fallen and Taco going for the AWP rather than KNG. And TLK very aggressive, but so is Lion. The opening pick being found to the CT side and no response. There is no further aggression for the T side. Yeah, first kill shutting them down. It relied a lot on that map presence and now JR will fall next. Taco getting picks back on problem. Seeing if he can just back up his teammate the most that he can, but not even a single point of damage been done to the CT side yet, Jay. More kills coming in from Fallen. For, uh, finally goes Fallen to trade a Flourish. The last player left and <laughs> Fallen. <laughs> yeah, he gets set, the orb set in. Keep these weapons in play, obviously, for the next round. Fast play out from Hellraisers. We'll try to they respond to that. Limes completely made the player out in the open back behind e box. Two kills coming through. And look at TRK so close towards Flourish. Flourish deals the frag anyway. And Taco is left alone. One on five. Overwhelming even the AWPs of the CT camp. JR is going to get Taco next. And again, the only rifles being in play for KNG and Fallen on that CT side. Flashes come over and the T's go quickly into the brown holes. Look at Taco aggressing far forward of his own right. Scout shots and nades come back from the CTs on the A side defense of the P250 faces up. Fallen goes down first. Firm can't find his frag, but TRK with that P250 gets to kill him before going down to the hands of Lion. One player in the back lines, KNG and one HP. Fur goes down. Bomb has been dropped. The Eagle still facing up a connector. Taco doesn't get away with anything in KNG on one HP. Nades to the back. Batlines will deal with him. 4k for Lion and 10 to the board of Hellraisers, as rightfully so. 
until it is set to stand at AWP have fallen. Watching, waiting, taking out JR for one. Fur and TRK don't go down very quickly to the hands of Lion, though. The aggressive CT forces ends up to the favor of the Hellraiser's cap. Good kills found. And now 3v3 retake up for MIBR. M4 for KNG faces in, gets Kalinka down. Fallen still looking for a K back in, and KNG doubles up in his own right. It's all at the flourish. One Frank Brown turns around for the double. Here for the 1v3 clutch baiting in the shot of the shoulder bait. And dropping off the side, seeing where Fallen is at, facing it against him. Again, baiting and a miss from the AWP season. Top of white spray oh! goes wrong. And Fallen will finally close it for MIBR to take 16 10 above Hellraisers, moving on to the winner's match off the back of our best of one. I'll tell you what, that's a huge clutch coming out from Fallen, and KNG does so much work in the back line. What a performance from KNG. I think he put up like 29 kills in the end there, Jay. That was a, a fantastic performance from MIBR, and one that towards the end they did let slip a little bit, but overall they were in complete control in that battle. Oh,